Signs you may be abusing your child, or signs you're possibly being abused by your parents. Uh, as you can see, I'm making this video in a weird sort of circumstances, but I just really want to make this video due to something that's going on in my own life. Nothing to do with me being abused or anything like that, it's just me watching something going on with quite a few people actually quite recently. But I would say one of the, the smaller known types of abuse is non-physical abuse because there's less signs of this going on because it's less easy to well see because it only happened behind closed doors there's not going to be any bruises left as evidence so it's quite an interesting thing and some children don't even know that they're being abused so it's also really hard to find out about and I would say one of the main things that you should look out for, even if you're a parent, you might not realise you're abusing your child. <sighs> one of the things that is a coffee time I would distinguish as abuse is shouting and yelling. You're a parent, you are a grown-up, you are presumably smarter than that person. So why are you feeling the need to raise your voice? You are literally the bigger person in that circumstance. So why are you raising your voice? To try and bring the child down? Is that the reason? Or I've seen this happen. I've been in a house and I've seen this happen to someone. It's when they are being shouted at, they start crying and the parent continues to yell. I don't think there's any other sign to know you're not that you're abusive that you are abusive. If you're yelling at a child after they start crying, you're probably abusive. Anyone that can look at a child, and I'm counting a child as anyone under sixteen, if you can look at a child cry and continue to add to that, you're a pretty fucked up person. And I, I would say one of the other things is if you know your child, adolescence, whatever, suffers from anxiety and depression, and then you take away their coping mechanism because it doesn't fit what you want them to be, you're abusive. As you can probably tell, this is something very personal to me, and it really annoys me. And if you are in a, if you are a depressed person, child, and your parents are trying to take away your coping mechanism, yeah, you're probably being abused. We are being abused if they're doing it knowing that that is your coping mechanism. There are, the other sign of abuse is obviously large controlling. So controlling what you do, making your child run all of their decisions through you. If you're, ch if you're a child and your parents make you run all your decisions through them, they're abusing you. I mean all, their de all your decisions. I don't mean like you have to tell them you're going out. I'm talking controlling every single thing you do. A pa parents are there to keep you safe. They're not there to be dictators. Your parents should not dictate you. And if they do, you're being abused. You literally are. If I am, or ever will be a parent, I will do my damn best to keep my child safe. To keep them happy. Because your child's happiness should have become above everything else. And if you can willingly strip your child of their happiness, you're a pretty fucked up person. If you, can, if you can willingly sit there and strip anyone of their happiness, you're a pretty fucked up person. Um, so I think if there's anything else I've left out. The controlling thing. I guess if your parents try and get way too involved in your life and your relationships and stuff, that's a sign of abuse. Obviously, sexual abuse is an entirely different thing. But this, this video is just about psychological abuse. Mental abuse. So I'd say if you're being controlled by your parents. Another thing that parents should realise is, because quite recently, they're my... My partner, my girlfriend, has recently been in a horrible circumstance with her parents. And then I've said, oh my god, the parents are controlled in a horrible way. Are they? Are they really? And then I've gone and asked a bunch of people and they've all agreed with me and gone, yeah, that's abusive, that's controlling. Which is what you should do. Just run the story, run what's going on with a few around a few people. And if they all agree with you, do something. 
I have no intentions of doing anything about that because it's a very low end of abuse with my girlfriend. She can she can get through it. I still I still talk to her on a regular basis, but it's just that's just one of the things that I've noticed. I've also had people that have come to me and said, "Oh, my parent, my my dad hits me." If your if your parents are physically laying any hand on you, then fucking get the fuck out of there. Also, if you're a parent that thinks spanking is okay, you're fucking scum. If you think it's okay for you, the bigger person, to lay a hand, to physically assault a child, you're pretty fucked up. I guess that's everything. Thank you guys for watching this video. Here are four other videos on my screen now. Uh, you should definitely give them a fucking watch. I'm genuinely pissed. This is a genuine thing that really annoys me. Thank you guys for watching. And peace.